Well, firefighters are battling a growing danger, and it's almost certainly present in your home. Lithium batteries are sparking fires which are more difficult to extinguish, and emergency services want the public to take notice before it claims lives. Just entering a unit. Burnt to a crisp. Are you touched for a matter of minutes? An apartment scorched in Wentworthville two weeks ago. Three residents rescued it from a balcony. The cause? A lithium battery powered e-scooter that was being charged. It's now so common, firefighters are battling blazes and explosions caused by batteries at least three times a week. People have nearly lost their lives in New South Wales. Phones, laptops, power banks and toys. Lithium batteries are found in many household items. You can see here the batteries that have exploded out after what we call thermal runaway. Which is a dangerous chemical reaction in a device, often triggered by damage or overcharging. It can emit a vapour cloud that's both toxic and explosive. It can also emit a very strong jet-like fire that is almost impossible to extinguish. Once the reaction starts, it's difficult and dangerous to stop. Here in East Gardens, e-bike batteries still bubbling 14 hours after the fire. Overcharging and overheating, you're placing yourself and your family at risk. In Guildford last week, a family managed to escape, but their home was left a blackened mess. The fire also sparked by an electric scooter. And just this week at Campbelltown Hospital, another incident. Batteries inside a ward caught fire. Staff had to be treated for smoke inhalation, but thankfully, it was quickly put out. And this garbage truck fire in Sutherland goes to show why you should never throw batteries in your household bin. Instead, they should be dropped at a recycling point. Many retailers, the big ones, Coles and Bunnings and others, Aldi, have actually got collection spots for your batteries. Annalise Bowles, Nine News.